Hello Aquarius and thank you for coming to my channel. This is your weekly love reading for the 9th through the 16th of July 2018. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So let's get started. Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus for July 9th through the 16th, 2018. What does Aquarius need to know? Okay, so some of you are holding back um, your emotions, not allowing um, the truth to come out, trying to keep um, a relationship from ending. Yeah. Oof. Okay, and the person Aquarius is dealing with. And the outcome. Okay, kind of a rough uh, week for you guys, Aquarius. However, you guys are coming out of a time, a dark time, a, a dark period. Um, you're spiritually being reborn. You're going through a rebirth. You're coming out of the cold and enjoying the warmth of the church. You have had strength <coughs> throughout this. Um, you're no longer going to be putting up a fight, though. You're going to decide to go within, um, be spiritually enlightened, and, and become, once again, the power force that you are. And I do see you moving on this week from this person. Um, I will get the clarifiers out, and we will get started. Um, your emotions have just run dry right now. You're not feeling the way you used to. Um, however, you are trying to keep this relationship from ending. Um, you're kind of refusing to move forward. the tower okay yeah i do see relationships ending this week for you guys sagittarius or not sagittarius i'm sorry aquarius um yeah you had did a little digging of your own and you found out some information that you don't like you are um not going to be moving forward with this person any longer however this week for some reason you are keeping the tower from coming down there's also been an emotional shakeup in your past that you found out about um, and you're just about ready to walk away. You are um, right there at the end of this chapter. Um, this person um, seemed very loving, nurturing, um, somebody that, that people looked up to. And that's what's making it so hard for you to walk away, um, to become single. Because this person is somebody that you trusted, that you um, look to, uh, to uh, start a life with or to continue your life with. You have, however, been holding back yourself. You haven't been investing in this relationship for quite some time. Um, your intuition is a little off, but secrets are coming out as well. There's a lot of secrets being exposed this week, Aquarius. Um, you have the King of Wands in the reverse as well. So this really turned your world upside down, but you're ready to um, take what you've learned and move on. You're ready to manifest a new life. Um, this person is opening up communication with you. Um, even because in the past their messages have been blocked um, or they haven't been able to speak truthfully about how they feel. Um, they are going to let you know, however, that they are moving forward. They're moving on from this relationship. Um, this was a third party situation. Um, and this person uh, is very unstable. The person that you're connecting with, they are not uh, in their own element right now. They're very wishy-washy. They're very 
um, one day I want this, one day I want that. Um, and they're very, yeah, they're just very unstable at the moment, but they're no longer, um, wanting to fight for this new beginning either. Um, their emotions also have just really run its course. Everybody here is just emotionally exhausted. And once again, secrets are coming out. Um, and they're going to, uh, work hard to move on past these secrets. Um, both parties I see was keeping things from each other. Um, but you Aquarius, you have had a really hard time moving forward, letting this go. Um, once again, there, like I said, there was a third party in your outcome. Um, and this person is going to leave very quickly. This is somebody that you possibly have children with, or you've known since childhood. And they, they have sneaky behavior. There's sneakiness going on here. Um, and they're moving forward and you're having a hard time letting go. Um, you're not wanting this relationship to end with the star in the reverse. This is not what you want, but it is going to, to come down. The tower is coming down and it's going to allow you a new start. And right now you don't feel like it, but it is what's best for you. And when you get this new start, you're going to find a new sense of stability. You're going to find that you're worth more than this, that you shouldn't have been putting up with this third party situation for this long. And you're going to come to those terms. You're going to realize that, um, that you're worth so much more, that you have so much more to give, so much more to offer. And with that leap of faith and starting over new, um, you're going to find yourself again um, because your gift from the universe is here, but it's being held off because this isn't the person for you. You do have a fire sign coming into your life very quickly. And when they do, and you uh, regain that sense of groundness, of stability, of self, um, self-confidence, uh, this person is going to come in and, and the universe is going to bless you with many things in the future. Um, it's just time to let this relationship go. You have the tower here twice. Um, secrets here twice, um, but you have the chariot in reverse. So you're not wanting to move on, um, but it is calling for it. It is time. You are going to move forward from this and you're going to heal. Whoa. You're going to heal and, uh, and, um, and become a better person because of it. Your angel, uh, your angel cards are, see, love yourself first. Um, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So when you love yourself first and quit putting up with this energy that is, that is putting you in a third party situation, you're going to attract the romantic partner that you, that you deserve, that you want, that you need. But first you have to love yourself first. You have to, um, you have to heal from these, mis from this situation and you are headed for a separation. Um, this time apart from your partner is on the horizon. It is coming here with the tower. So spirit is encouraging you to retreat, disconnect from the world, disconnect from everybody, and just um, allow yourself to heal and love yourself first. Find your value again. Find out, find your self-confidence, your self-worth, because you deserve so much more than what this relationship is providing at the moment. So um, don't fight the separation. Allow yourself to part from each other, Aquarius. And um, take this as a new beginning. Um, every beginning comes from an end. So take this ending and the time to heal and and take this new beginning as a blessing because the universe will shine down on you abundance in, in all matters. So um, don't fear it. Just let it happen. I hope you guys have a good week, Aquarius. It's going to be a little bit of tough energy for you, but you're going to get through this. You're strong. And um, you will get so much better that will come into your energy, into your life. So as always, I send you love, light, and God bless.